Good day everyone. This is Alvin again from the Philippines and today I am going to give I'm going to give my review of the recently concluded Ms. Earth 2019. So the same as usual as what I have said with, with my previous video, all of my reviews of all international pageants that I'll be following, I will be posting my rating meter right there where everyone starts at 100 points. And then as we go on with the review of the entire event, of the entire show, all of the event, oh, I mean all of the parts of that event that disappoints me or I mean, I'm not satisfying on my part will result to a deduction of points and any scene or scenario which I really love and deserve some point, I will also be giving additional points. And at the end of the review, whatever remains, then that's my overall rating for the pageant of that specific year. So let's begin reviewing Ms. Earth 2019, starting with the opening number. I am not really a huge fan of the dancing. However, I enjoy how the ladies are being introduced one by one. I love the shifting of the cameras from both sides. Some are complaining on the chat box during the live event that it's a little bit too fast when it comes to the introduction of the delegates. I don't think so. I think the pace was just right. Now let's go to the host. The host, I mean, the event was hosted by James Deakins, and I suggest he needs to be the permanent host of Ms. Earth because I love his voice and the way he calls out the country name of the finalist. He always, he always know how to bring some excitement in there and to build some hype and applause as well. Now let's proceed with the top 20 finalists. The top 20 finalists were Russia, Chile, Guam, Belarus, Guyana, Portugal, Japan, Poland, Ghana, England, Thailand, Czech Republic, United States, Philippines, Puerto Rico, Spain, Colombia, Netherlands, Nigeria, and New Zealand. I am on my bittersweet moment after the announcement. First of all, it is a celebration for me for, get, for getting 15 over 20. I mean, this is such a tough and competitive batch. And reaching 15 even surprised me because it's very difficult to narrow the list to top 20 because as what I've said there's a lot of amazing amazing ladies this year to be honest I could actually consider 2019 as one of my favorite batch ever in Ms. Earth I mean there's a lot to truly impress me in all rounds of the competition so I am very very happy reaching 15 now let's talk about the ladies who are not on my list but made it in Russia. I did not really notice her that much during the pre-judging, but when she was cold, her close-up was so beautiful and she was so sweet. So I kind of understand why she was there. Guam, Netherlands, and Portugal, another stunning women. I am not surprised as well because they are someone I was considering too when making predictions. So they are part of my shortlisted. I mean, they are part of my short list, but as I narrow it down to my top 20, unfortunately, they got eliminated by me. Now, Japan, I don't get her placement. I think I could name some more ladies that could easily re replace her. And because of that, I will only be focusing on Japan. So I will deduct one point simply because, I, I mean, she could, be a, she could be deserving for the juries. But I really do not understand why she made it in. And... As I've said, I could sit, I could pick some ladies who did better than her. So I'm sorry for Japan, but I will deduct one point, which brings down the score to 99. Now for the ladies that are on my prediction list but did not make it in, Canada and Nepal, they are part of my top 20, but now that they did not make it, I think I understand. And it's not really a big deal for me. Canada was great during the intelligence round, but to be honest, she didn't do well in the other two rounds. I understand why she didn't make it. Nepal is making it in my list, but it's not really, is, I mean, not really topping on my list. So there's a possibility that she could be lower on the official jury. So understandable for me as well. But my goodness, where is Venezuela? Where is Ukraine? And where is India? For Venezuela, I seriously don't get this. She was outstanding in all rounds during the preliminaries. I mean, she was good. She was delivering an all, I mean, an outstanding performance. Figure and form, beauty, I mean, face and poise in the intelligence round. She was amazing in all these three rounds. So until now, I am still unsure on why she did not make it. 
Ukraine, another front runner, and I really thought Ukraine could go as far as top 8 or even top 4 because she was beautiful. She is giving a superb performance in all rounds of the preliminary judging. But get this prior to the finals, I actually am browsing some pageant forums as well, and I have actually read that I mean again again this is these are just rumors rumors only so i am browsing pageant forums and i have read that there is one front runner in miss earth that is giving some bad attitude during the pageant there are no names yet so of course i am on my assumption mode who it is who it's going to be because of course in pageants once we have the attitude there's already there's a possibility that you will not make it because all eyes are on you and if you think no one's looking then you're wrong because everyone is watching and sometimes you just don't know it now after the announcement of the top 20 where everybody is looking for these three venezuela ukraine and india many people are commenting in different posts in different pageant forums that it was ukraine who has the personality and attitude issue of course we, it's just rumors. We don't know about it yet. There's no official. I mean, there's really no proof about that. It's just hearsay. So I'm not sure if I will believe it or not. But to be honest, performance-wise, Ukraine is really deserving to be in the top 20. So whatever the reasons are of her not being included, so let's just... Of course, I mean, of course, we cannot make stories of our own, but... I know that the organization and the juries have their own reasons. And finally, my goodness, India! I mean, after announcement of the top 20, I was like, what is happening right now? After Miss Grand International, India was ignored. And what happened in Miss Grand International was terrible. Simply because India performed so, so well than many of those ladies who made it in the top 20. For Miss Earth, I think... I think I can find some reasons on why she did not make it because I was having conversation with other pageant fans as well on why India did not make it. Now here's the thing. And as I think about it, I think I might agree with them. Intelligence round, there's no doubt that India is topping that round. She was so, so good. So no question about that. Because there's only three rounds in the preliminaries of Miss Earth. And as long as you can ace these three, then you're on your way to the top 20. Intelligence round, and you have it. No question. For the face and poise, I myself placed India on my top 15, but she's just somewhere in the middle because as what they have said, I'm, I'm really concerned with her walk. It was too fast. I'm not a fan of the styling. Although although I know some of you commented that the, the dress is one of your, one of India's, what they call this national dress i think i'm not sure just correct me in the comment section but i mean it doesn't really highlight her beauty at that round i mean it's just so so for her and according to the fans that i talked to i mean beauty is objective of course which i agree and there's a possibility that india could fa could i mean failed and the phase and poise. I'm not really sure why. I mean, she's beautiful. My only concern at that round is their delivery. But for other fans, they do not consider India as one of their top 15 in phase and poise. Now, for the figure and form, I also like India. I mean, she doesn't have the best body in the competition. We have to agree with that. However, I love her confidence in delivering. But my friend told me that maybe because we are so hot and so impressed with India's profile and intelligence that we just can't seem to ignore her. But my friend slapped me in the face, what, I mean, not literally, of course, when he said that, let's say we do not know India's profile during the figure and form. Let's say we do not know that that is India. Let's say we don't have any idea that she is a doctor, that she has a very strong profile. I'm sorry for saying this, but he told me that to be honest, India is not even in his top 20 for figure and form because there are other ladies who did better than her. So considering all those factors, there's a possibility in me that I might be, that, that I might agree. But of course, just focusing on India alone, I mean, I just cannot believe still that she is not even in the top 20. I mean... 
I think they need to give more points and credit to intelligence round because face and beauty can be achieved by anyone and it's subjective but for intelligence for strong profiles it needs some hard work it needs determination and it needs perseverance and I think they really need to give more points to this which is why I am really disappointed that India didn't make it because I think she's her profile itself is very deserving of the top 20 but then again that's the result which is happening just move on and hopefully India will find a decent representative in the next years to come. The Jaswini Managna is such an amazing, amazing woman, no question about that. But I still have hopes because of course India, nine years of no qualification in Ms. Earth is something that's unbelievable. But I'm still positive that they can do it in the future years. Since Venezuela and Ukraine are in my top 10 in my final prediction, and I think they deserve to be there, so I have to deduct two points each in the final points in the current rating. And of course, India is in my final four, but she did not make it, so I will deduct three points, making it a total of seven points deduction in the rating, bringing down the score to 92. Now let's go to the official top 10. The top 10 were Russia, Puerto Rico, New Zealand, United States, Netherlands, Chile, Belarus, Nigeria, Poland, and Czech Republic. The top 10 is obviously a scramble, but this is what they always say. Our prediction is only good for the first cut because you will never know what will happen in the finals. So once we watch the preliminaries and all the events that happened, we are making, of course, our selection. For example, top 20, we will pick our top 20 based on the preliminaries because that is the basis on who will make the first cut. And then, of course, the ranking is just based on our own perspective, perception, and views of the contestants. But of course, once the finals happen, I am always open-minded. There is always a lot of scramble in the finals. And this is one example. For the top 10, though, I have no complaints. Some of my favorites were left out. However, the top 10... After their speech, were all beautiful and smart and deserving to be there. I am sad for Ghana for not making it in the top 10, but as what I have posted on my social media while watching Ms. Earth, I cannot pick any from this top 10 to be thrown out because they are deserving to be there. Now for the official top 4, Belarus, Czech Republic, United States, and Puerto Rico, this is by far one of the strongest top four, if not the strongest, in the history of Ms. Earth. Everyone is beautiful, smart, and confident. And because of that, I will be giving additional one point. And for the final question, the question was, there are many people, including leaders, who do not believe in climate change. How can you convince them about the seriousness of this problem? Each of the ladies have different points in answering this question. And it is very obvious that these are smart women. Because for sure, if there's no time limit, they have something more to say. Which is why I'm very, very impressed with this top four. Because they are not only beautiful, they are also well-spoken, articulate, and smart. So kudos to this top four. Amazing, amazing result. And when the result was announced, Ms. Earth Fire is Belarus, Ms. Earth Water is Czech Republic Clara Vavrushkova, Ms. Earth Air is USA Imani Davis, and Ms. Earth is Puerto Rico Nelly Pimentel. I truly believe that Puerto Rico deserved that victory. Puerto Rico won their first Ms. Earth title, and just yesterday, Puerto Rico is the first country in the world to have won all crowns from six major international pageants. So congratulations to them. And what also amazed me is that it turns out the heavy favorites prior to arrival were still the strong contender until the end. And I'm talking about USA, Belarus, Czech Republic, and Puerto Rico. They were heavy, heavy favorites prior to arrival. So because of that, because of a very satisfying result, I will be adding three points to the current rating. And I'm just very, very happy of the overall result. So my final rating for Ms. Earth 2019 is a whopping 96%. And I'm very, very happy for that. So what do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.